Hi. Okay, good to see you guys too. Uh, this is, yes, thank you guys for coming out. This will be um, a lot worse than you expect it to be. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to Florida soon. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, run for Congress so I can fuck a 17 year old. And it, <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't gotta go to Florida to do that. You could just stay right here. <laughs> Uh, this is um, fun. I, I do shows here a lot because I, I live not too far. And whenever I put these sets up on YouTube, people will always comment, why does, there's only one guy in particular, this white dude, who always comments, why does it look like he's performing in a mosque's bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> which, which is on its surface racist. But then I put it together, this guy must have been to at least one mosque. <laughs> right? Like, I've never been to a mosque. This motherfucker's doing his research. I appreciate that kind of racism. <laughs> and then I gotta go to uh, Texas after that uh, to host a doctor's conference. Yeah, they're gonna laugh at me, be like, hey, he could have been one of us. It's gonna be great. <laughs> It's, Texas, if you don't know, is the least healthy state in the country. It's got the least healthy people, which is why there are mad Indian doctors there. <laughs> uh, there's two reasons. Mad, unhealthy patients and no state income tax. <laughs> that's fucking, that's like, yo, Indian doctors? Like, oh yeah, we gonna make a killing there. And, there's a steady supply of patients. There's a steady flow of patients, unlike the blood flow to those patients' hearts. <laughs> that room, that joke did not work here, but it will crush in a room full of cardiologists, I promise you. <laughs> it's gonna do great, I'm keeping it. I got a lot of, I got a lot of cousins who are physicians. Uh, oh, this is a bunch of 17 year olds trying to figure out who's gonna cut the check. <laughs> Can you split these uh, four club sodas seven ways, please? <laughs> Who had the Charlie Temple? He's gotta pay twice as much. <laughs> Look at this fucking drink. That's, that's, what is this, fucking NyQuil? <laughs> Let me see this. Look, come, give me this. What the fuck did you order? What is this? What is it? It's a Shirley Temple. <laughs> oh my, that's adorable. There's not one fake ID among all, all of you guys? <laughs> Jesus Christ, they can't tell how old you are. Just keep your mask on and lower your voice a little bit. And <laughs> oh yeah, let me get a, a Shirley Temple. <laughs> Man, how, how old are you? 18. 18 uh, Jesus, bro, when I was 18, I was 27. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I gotta go find an expired license and just give it to you. <laughs> Seven, 18 year olds, man. That's adorable. What do you do? What do you, go to, you go to school? Where do you go to college? Rutgers. Rutgers? Yeah. Oh, man, I was supposed to go there. <laughs> I went to NYU, and here I am. Uh, <laughs> had I went to Rutgers, I would probably became a doctor, so I'm glad I did not go. You're a freshman? Yeah. Cool. New Brunswick is a nice city. Uh, uh, I got no more jokes about New Brunswick, but <laughs> good for you. Is this your entire crew? Well, yeah. You all go to Rutgers? Where do you go? I'm in high school. You're in high school? <laughs> That's why you're eating Reese's. <laughs> Chocolate. Whew. Did you talk to them, Shafi? He's got Reese's candy. Wow, bro. You, you should go to Texas. The doctors that would love your <laughs> I'm going to eat chocolate at 10 p.m. on a Thursday. I'm never going to die. No, you will, man. <laughs> you're going to get diabetes, walk around with one foot. Can't be doing this shit. St All right, I gotta do these jokes, man. <laughs> oh, poor Shirley Temple. 
Come on, guys, God. Ella, can you put a shot of, of vodka in one of them? <laughs> Just to see what happens. <laughs> Four Shirley Temple. Get this guy a chocolate milk while we're at it. Jesus Christ, guys, unbelievable. I mean, it's beautiful. Uh, it's adorable, but it's sad as shit. <laughs> Wait till your parents find out what you're putting on that credit card you got. <laughs> what, what's that Eastville Comedy Club? <laughs> There's other drinks. There's other drinks you can have <laughs> that aren't so. Good. Do you get, are you getting Shirley Temples because uh, that's what you you think you're supposed to order when you're not drinking, or because you like cherry and Sprite together? <laughs> Which one? This guy seems like the spokesperson for the group. The, what's your name? My name. Yeah. Muku. What? Muku. Muku, nice to meet you. Oh, you messaged you DM me on. Did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> These 18 year olds are bold as shit. <laughs> hey, no, no sort of decorum when it comes to messaging people. Hey man, when's the show? When are you up? Uh, can, you, can, can, you, can you be off stage by 10.30? I gotta catch a train. <laughs> Motherfucker said that shit. <laughs> no decorum. No fucking etiquette whatsoever. And I, the fucked up thing is I responded like, yeah, man, you know what? I'll be on the stage at 10.30. <laughs> I didn't know you are gonna bring your entire fucking Rutgers class. <laughs> hey, let's take the train from New Brunswick and then go watch, watch Nimesh Patel bomb for 12 minutes. <laughs> Talking to Shirley Temples. It's cause, it's cause you don't know what else to order. Just get fucking club soda with bitters. The bartender like, you know what bitters are? This, you must at least be 24. <laughs> bitters are a concentrated form of alcohol that alcoholics drink. Um, Facts. Right? Facts. <laughs> Said the guy in recovery. There's another YouTube comment I get all the time. Is, uh, why is he always drinking something on stage? <laughs> why, why not? It's just it's club soda. I like Pellegrinos, but they don't have them here. They got Pizza Hut cups. <laughs> I'm still blown away by this. Shirley Temple. What's your name? Kabir. What is it? Kabir. Kabir. Sahir. S Sahir. Sahir and? And this. And this. And what? And this. And vi this? Yeah. Damn, I thought my parents gave me a tough life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm it too easy for teachers to pronounce. We're gonna make it Amvith. The people will ask if he has a list, but he'd be like, nope. <laughs> That's, my parents just were like, nah, you gotta have it real hard. Good for you guys. You all go, you're in high school too? Yeah. We're all seniors. You're all seniors except. Did you drive? No, we took the train. You took the train from New Brunswick? <laughs> You live in Princeton, New Jersey. Yeah. You came from Princeton? Just to see you. To see me? Yeah. What an honor. Man, I should just do. <laughs> Next time, you got to put that information up first. <laughs> that you're coming from Princeton, New Jersey. I figure you're coming from fucking Qu Jackson Heights. <laughs> All right, man, this motherfucker's talking about catching the subway at 1035. It's weird, you know, all the Q train schedules. I don't know you're coming from fucking Princeton, New Jersey to see me? And you're drinking Shirley Temples? <laughs> guys, 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 I love you, but step your alcohol game up. <laughs> Did you at least pregame on the train? Well, you don't drink at all. I, I think I will get a fake ID just because you've embarrassed me so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should get a fake ID because it's fun to have one. You definitely... It, it, it definitely won't, uh, you don't look anywhere near old enough to drink. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> when I, I was a hard 18, because I had been drinking for a while when I was 18, so I, my skin looked terrible, but you look fresh. <laughs> Your shit is, you look used proactive every day. <laughs> Why would I do any of this material anymore? <laughs> Just talk to Kabir, Sahir, Umvit, and Muku. 
No, it's nothing to na for na names or nothing. I got 16 first cousins, so this, this is just <laughs> another four. <laughs> I was talking about my cousins who are doctors. I got, I got 16 first cousins, five of them are physicians. And as I'm, as I'm going through this material right now in my head, I'm predicting it's not going to work because the momentum from the doctor bit is dead. <laughs> and I've killed it because I spent the last four to five minutes talking to you clowns. <laughs> but I love it. It's, it's weird to know I have fans that I didn't have to get naked for. <laughs> 18. A few weeks ago, I did, this, I did this show here, and I asked the crowd um, what the racial slur for Indian people is. Get there. Yeah. That's, that's the right answer. Uh, and if he wasn't Indian, I'd be fighting him right now. <laughs> All of us would have to get up and beat the shit out of this dude. But Ginder's the right one. But even Ginder, like, I didn't, I, the only reason it's the right one is because all the other ones can be broken down. You understand? Like, Ginder, I don't, I know what it means, but I don't know what the origin is. I, don't, I only know when I was like, like 15 or 16, I was in DC and uh, uh, I was leaving a motel with my, my cousins. And uh, don't ask what we were doing there. And, <laughs> and, and we left this motel and these group of white bikers, like, these fucking Ginders? I was like, talking about us? <laughs> I guess maybe I am a Ginder. I don't know. But that's, that's the real power that confuses the shit out of you. All the other ones I've been called, I broke down. And I know uh, uh, every other big Indian comedian has a bit on racial slurs. Russell has one. Uh, Aziz has one. I'm sure Hassan has like a PowerPoint about it. Uh, <laughs> that's my friend, by the way. So, I, I, But like... So don't think I'm, oh, he's fucking just doing all bits that these guys, are. I'm not. These are just, it's just the area of comedy that brown comedians will tackle because there is no real slur for us. I've been called, you fucking Indian, or you fucking Hindu, which is not racist, it's just tell me what I am, <laughs> right? Uh, I am Indian, I am Hindu, and I do be fucking. Uh, <laughs> Sand N-word. It's like, just, that's, probably, that's the, the worst one, but it also reveals that the person has no idea about geography. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it, it's, that's probably the most ignorant one, which is what pure racism is. It's just fully ignorant. Anytime someone calls me a sand n-word, I'm just like, yeah, I did 9-11, I'll do it again, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, and then, coolie. You heard coolie before? Coolie is a slur that the Brits invented uh, uh, back when they colonized India and Kenya, and they just grouped all brown people that uh, did work, brown people, black people that worked, and they called them coolies uh, because they just grouped us all together because they were too lazy to think of specific ones. You know what I mean? And then there's packy, which is what Indian people get fucking packy, which you know, if, I don't know what you know about uh, uh, India's history, but Pakistan, Bangladesh, and India were all one place until the Brits divided us up randomly. They drew a border uh, based on the outline of their teeth. And <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really a slur. <laughs> and then there's uh, tech support. Tech support and a pool slash 7-Eleven employee slash gas station employee. You're just basically calling me all the jobs that we took from you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, this guy's fucking works at a 7-Eleven. Yeah, I do work at a 7-Eleven and you, 7-Eleven, and you pay me uh, money to give you diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> a pool is, is funny, but a pool was a pimp. Man had mad gold chains, a flowery ass shirt. Fuck Hank Azaria, but Apu, I fuck with. Street shitter. <laughs> Street shitter is pretty funny. Street shitter is because if you go to India, uh, uh, people do be shitting in the streets. 
But, you know, anytime someone calls me a street shitter, I'm like, yeah, but you could also be describing people in San Francisco. So, <laughs> curry muncher? <laughs> someone wrote curry muncher in the comments multiple times. Curry muncher just belies a fundamental misunderstanding of what curry is. <laughs> you don't munch curry. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite, there's a tie. And this is not me giving you license to use them, this table of white dudes who looks like they're writing everything down. Uh, <laughs> Urka Durka and Bipti. <laughs> Urka Durka and Bipti. <laughs> Urka Durka, because that's what uh, Indians sound like when they talk. And Bipti when the convenience store employee is giving you change. He's like, here's three Bipti. <laughs> But those are too funny and based in onomatopoeia to be actually insulting. Ginder is the winner. Uh, there's no end to that. It's just something I wanted to put on tape. <laughs>